Rigibo, Rigibo.com and today I'm going to present your product already presented which are the uh, filters, mist filters by KF Concept and why do I present them again? Well, simply because I did a review uh, I made with my Olympus camera and I asked uh, KF Concept if they could send me a new diameter for my Fujifilm X100V and started to publish some pictures on uh, social networks and many people asked me, uh, please Eric, do a review explanation again showing practical uh, cases of uh, how you use them and uh, actually these filters are really great when you have a light and uh, if you want to have a cine effect or things like this so now it's Christmas coming I did some first test on the street with the Christmas lights that already uh, set here and I could have a look at it and I thought well that's the right time I also did, did uh, like a, a night shot here on this place and I'm um, going to uh, speak about it again because many uh, people ask me to see practical use of this filter so let's carry on so why do I record in daytime well basically because I want you to see me it's the same like when I made the video about sunset I'll leave you the link here I recorded it daytime and then I waited for the sunset to, to, to show how I, was uh, how I was doing it okay so uh, the OIT of uh, these filters is have a mist effect diffusion effect and uh, I asked uh, KF Concept to send me uh, filters for uh, the right diameter for this camera and they sent me uh, one eighth, one quarter and one half and you see different results, different aspect, uh, different level of uh, diffusion. So uh, I think these filters are really great when you have uh, light but also in daytime it works fine too so it depends what you want to do. I'm going to show you an example of uh, what I've done, tested, uh, with the Fujifilm uh, simulation. Uh, for video, I used the Eterna uh, for, uh, Fuji by Fujifilm, okay? And then for the pictures, I used two. I used the uh, simulation I got from the website uh, Fujifilm X Weekly. One is the Cinesteel 800T and the other is the Kodak Hector 100. So uh, for the Cine look uh, picture, uh, the Cine steel is great. And for uh, the Christmas lights, I think uh, the Hector was really good. It works really fine, okay? Um, so I, I'm not sure uh, I'm going to do it when the light, uh, light falls with the night, if you see me, but at least you will see the, the, the explanation. I'll give you the explanation now. But you see the result and you see if uh, it works for you. Uh, more practical cases and just a review I made the, the other day, okay? So uh, I'm going to carry on and uh, you see some results, some sample of what I've made and uh, the result I get and then you see if uh, one or two or three filters are okay for you or what level, one quarter, one, uh, one eighth or one half. Okay, so let's carry on. For every example, I do first a picture with that filter then one with uh, one eighth, then with one quarter, then with one half all the time. So you can actually compare the effects, okay? So let's go for it. So here on the dock in Santa Cruz uh, de Tenerife, uh, the, I'm going to do a picture and a video. For the picture, I'm going to use a film simulation, a, a Cinesteel 800T film. And for video, I'm going to use the Etana simulation by Fuji Film. Okay. Uh, I know it comes out for the pictures because I've made some before, but for videos, first time I do it. So we're gonna have a look and see how it, it looks. Okay. As you can see, there's a kind of halo already, a glow around the uh, around the light because there's some uh, humidity in the air. Okay, so that's the reason. Mm -hmm. 
No luck tonight, there's no car passing by because when you have the, the car light that comes, uh, they're really great. Uh, I'll show you a picture I made the other day and when I tested this, it's uh, with a filter 1 8th, okay, so it gives you an idea. Uh, it's not as foggy as the other, but it gives you an idea, okay? So we're going to try, I'm going to use uh, this uh, light by Saint Mark, okay, with the uh, uh, police simulation. I'm going to put it on the hot shoe here. On the camera I'm going to walk toward, I'm, I'm going to be the actor and uh, we're gonna see how it comes out. No idea, I've not tried yet, okay? Well, before you say it, yes, 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 I know. I would not be a good actor, okay? No, I know that, okay? Now, at least in, in that kind of uh, movie, okay? Uh, I said I would uh, record at 800 ISO. I did not uh, end up doing at 3200 ISO. Why? Because uh, uh, with this light, it was hard to detect my face uh, because the blue uh, and red, maybe it was a problem. So uh, I wanted to have a bit more depth of field. So I was, instead of F2, I was on F4, okay? and I had to uh, bump up the, the ISO, okay? But you still have an idea of how it looked on, on the, the light and uh, how it glowed and uh, all that, okay. cheating again okay uh, I'm recording uh, the goodbye before I recorded the race why because it's still daytime I can still you can still see me on the video okay so uh, it reminds me it's the same when I did the the sunset uh, video okay so it's a bit like Star Wars you see uh, the episode of five six I don't know which one and it was after what you've seen before or before whatever you've seen before but it's a bit complicated what you see right now is actually before what you've just seen before. Complete Star Wars, okay? So, my conclusion. Well, my conclusion are really similar to what I uh, explained the other day uh, by the other video about the, the mist filters. I do think they're really useful and I think they're more useful than just cine look. Uh, I know that many people want to reproduce the look of a, a picture uh, of, of a movie, so uh, the ambience, uh, the style, all this, so it's really useful to use that. 
but also for uh, normal street lights or uh, the Christmas lights and also I think it's great for some landscape maybe but for uh, uh, oh you see there is a rainbow uh, this is not a special effect it's really a rainbow there I think it's going to rain any second okay so uh, really, well, there it's raining obviously here uh, not yet that's some uh, drops okay so uh, I think it's really useful uh, for that kind of uh, picture but also I think for portrait nude photography lingerie photography boudoir I think it's really uh, great it gives a soft look I think many people will love it obviously there are some people who don't like that kind of effect so obviously that's not for them okay so yes I think for me it's good will I use it all the time obviously not uh, only when I really want to have this special look okay but this is the same for most of the gear we have we use it when we need it or when we want it we normally filters we don't always have a filter screwed on our lens uh, if this filter has some typical or special effects obviously but some people will you know there's some people I've seen on on, uh, on YouTube some people who use a mist filter full-time with uh, uh, simulation, uh, film simulation, okay? It starts to rain, okay? So, if you're interested in this filter, you can get it. Uh, there is a, a link in description, okay? So, thank you very much, KF Concept, for sending me uh, the filters. Thank you to you for uh, watching the video. If you feel it may interest other people, please share it on social networks. If you have not done it yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, the small button down here, and also a small bell. If you click on the bell, get notified when I upload a new video. My website, erichibo.com. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment below. I'll leave you links of my gear on Amazon, links to all the gear I've tested by Kev Concept and Sandmark, and also a link to my PayPal account in case you wanted to make a donation. It's raining. Goodbye, goodbye, bye.